Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on four year series under the interval 0, 2L. In the previous videos, we are discussing about 0, 2 pi. We have discussed a lot about the general four year series in all our previous videos. I am directly depicting this. I am directly showing this formula. Where theta equal to pi x by L. L is my half length. Then the formula for A naught, A n, B n are depicted as follows. Our concern is the interval 0, 2L. So, when I put C equal to 0, C plus 2L become 2L. Therefore, the general Fourier series formula under the interval 0, 2L as follows. In 0, 2 pi or in the interval minus pi, pi, what will happen? This n pi x by L will become simply n pi x by pi. There the half length is L. There the half length is pi. So, we will be getting simply cos nx sin nx and in the case of the 0, 2L or minus L, L will be getting cos n pi x by L sin n pi x by L that is the difference and the limit will change. As usual root mean square value when I replace A by B as 0, 2L I will be getting the formula and also Parswell's identity. Same thing what will happen 1 by B minus A will become 1 by 2L and the limits will become 0 to 2L. That is the formula represented here. Next, we are going for the same property. We use 2 pi in the previous video. Here, we are going to use the 2L. So, it will satisfy for this interval also. So, just a quick recap. When f of x satisfying the condition f of 2L minus x equal to f of x, then f of x into cos nx will also satisfy the same condition. But f of x into sin nx will behave in the opposite way. It will yield minus f of x. Therefore, from this we can conclude my a naught can be represented by 2 by L 0 to L f of x dx. And a n can be represented as 2 by L 0 to L f of x cos n pi x by L. B n is equal to 0 by the property. Similarly, when f of 2L minus x is equal to minus f of x, then f of x into cos nx will also behave in the same way. Sin nx behave in the opposite way. It will be getting plus f of x. Therefore, we can conclude that a naught 0, a n 0, b n can be represented as 2 times 1 by L, 0 to L, f of x sin n by x by L dx. So, we can write that if f of 2L minus x equal to f of x, then b n 0. If f of 2L minus x equal to minus f of x, a naught and a n is going to be 0. Now, in the previous videos, we are dealing with these problems. So, we solved problem 1, 2 and 3. Now, we can take the problem number 4 as a practice problem for the interval 0, 2 pi, which I do not solve in the previous videos. The first three problems are already solved in the following videos. You can go to the playlist and you can watch there. Now, the same problems I can do for the interval 2L, but it is getting bored because if I keep on solving the same problem, it is not that good. So, also I am giving these three problems as a practice problem for your practice. You can do by yourself. Now, I am going to take the fourth problem. That is my f of x is L minus x whole square. I am going to solve this problem in this session. Let us go into the problem. As usual, step 1. The function and the limit is defined in the interval 0, 2L. Step 2. We are going to write the Fourier series formula under the interval 0, 2L. Then, step 3. We are going to write the property in terms of L. And we know that in the interval 0, 2L, f of 2L minus x is equal to f of x, then b n 0. If it is equal to minus f of x, then a naught and a n 0. Now, let us check for our problem. Our problem is L minus x whole square. Now, replace x by 2L minus x. So, when we replace, we will be getting L minus 2L minus x whole square. Simplifying this, we will be getting minus L plus x whole square. If you take minus outside, we will be getting L minus x whole square. That is nothing but simply L minus x whole square. That is my function f of x. Therefore, f of 2L minus x is equal to f of x. By the above property, immediately we can say b n 0. So, 30 percent of the problem gets over. So, our concern is next to find a naught and a n. So, by the property, I can write this as 2 by L 0 to L f of x dx. Now, 
L minus X whole square. We know the formula. Integral AX plus B whole power N DX is equal to AX plus B whole power N plus 1 divided by A into N plus 1. Now, in our case, we have L minus X. So, when I differentiate this L minus X, I will be getting minus 1. So, integration of this is 2 by L, L minus X whole cube divided by 3 into minus 1. The minus 1 comes from here. Limits 0, comma L. So, minus 2 by 3 L. When I apply my upper limit, it will become 0. When I apply my lower limit, we will be getting minus L cube and simplifying this, we will be getting A naught is equal to 2L square by 3. Now, our concern is A naught by 2, that is L square by 3. Therefore, A naught gets over, we are moving to A n. By the property, I can say this as 2 by L integral 0 to L f of x cos n pi x by L dx. Now, we have to apply Bernoulli's formula. U is my diminishing function. I am going to take it as L minus x whole square. U dash is going to be 2 into L minus x and L minus x differentiation is minus 2. Then U double dash is going to be minus 2. L minus x differentiation is minus 1 that is 2 and triple dash is going to be 0. dV is going to be cos n pi x by L dx and integrating this we will be getting plus sin n pi x by L divided by n pi by L. V1 is going to be minus cos n pi x by L divided by n pi by L whole square. Then V2 is going to be minus sin n pi x by L divided by n pi by L whole cube. Now, we know the Bernoulli's formula integral u dv is equal to u v minus u dash v1 plus u double dash v2 etc. Since the highest power of x is 2, we get three terms in the problem. So, mapping u v, u dash v1, u double dash v2 and all the remaining terms get 0, I can write like this. Since my limit is 0 comma L, immediately I will make the two sign terms 0 and I have only the cos term. Here minus minus will get cancelled and we have one minus here. So, I am writing a n as minus 2 by L 2 into L minus X cos n pi X by L divided by n pi by L whole square 0 to L. Substituting my upper limit, it will become 0 because we have L minus L 0 minus. Substituting the lower limit, we will be getting 2L and when it goes to numerator, it will become L by n pi whole square. So, now minus into minus plus, we will have 2 by L into 2L, L by n pi whole square. Simplifying this, we will be getting 4L square by n square pi square. So, an gets over. Now, substitute my a naught value and a n value and b n value and now you can see this Fourier series representation of f of x. And the final step is going to be the deduction. We have to deduce 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square etc is equal to pi square by 6. Now, it's time to choose the point. You see here, I have summation n equal to 1 to infinity n square cos n pi x by L. If I put x equal to 0, my problem is smooth. I'll be getting 1 by 1 square, 1 by 2 square, 1 by 3 square, etc. from the summation. So, I am going to choose x equal to 0 as my point. When I choose x equal to 0 as my point, my limit is 0, 2L. So, x lies outside. It is a point of n discontinuity. So, I am taking RHS and substituting the value x equal to 0. Now, it will become cos 0. So, I can get this in a simplified way. I am keeping this RHS and I am going for the LHS. Since x equal to 0 is the point of n discontinuity, I can write my LHS is f of x at x equal to 0. That is nothing but f of 0 plus f of 2L by 2. We know that our function is L minus x whole square. So, f of 0 is going to be L square and f of 2L is also L minus 2L whole square that is L square. So, I will be getting 
L square plus L square divided by 2. My LHS is L square. Now equating LHS and RHS will be getting like this. Then simplifying this, I will be getting phi square divided by 6 directly. When I put the value n equal to 1, 2, 3 in the RHS, I will be getting the final answer phi square by 6. Hope you understand students. Uh, similarly, as I said, a practice problem for you, f of x equal to x square at the limit 0, 2L. Now, this will not satisfy the property. So, we have to deal just in a classical way finding a naught, a n, b n. So, I left this as a practice problem for you. Thank you. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe our channel. Share to your friends. Click a like. And if you have any queries, post in the comment box. We are there to help you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.